still fixing up the schooner. We realized really quickly that one of the primary flaws in the design is that it doesn't have an escape vehicle. Thankfully, I've got the perfect one. We're leveraging the Eclipso for safety. It works every time. Pontus had his eye on the Eclipso ever since I fired it up for the first time. He's recognized its potential. What he doesn't realize is it's more of a two-foot kind of ride. The whole idea behind the Eclipse, though, is so that if he's on the trail at night and there's wolves or some other threat, he can escape the sled by jumping on the Eclipse though, and taking off. The problem is that it's a child's snowboard and Mick weighs over 200 pounds. The dogs can walk faster than this thing can glide. The first time he went down on it, he cracked it, so now it barely goes. I don't know who he's fooling with this, to be honest. Fifty percent of time is nighttime, so if you're afraid of the dark, you might want to bring a fucking knife. Got my light, got my beer. Let's rip. before the salt is hit. Let's see how it goes. I suspect that we will be in good shape. Basically, I'm about to open up the trunk. All three of the dogs are gonna try and run. I'm gonna try and wrestle them. Quincy, you're gonna fall through. It's hard to tell right now, but the dogs are actually, at least Quincy and Poncho are uh, standing in the ditch, just frozen. Okay, wait, wait, well in, whoa. Okay, Quince. So if you look at the tracks here, you can see it's not exactly a straight run. And all the boot prints are in here, which means that Michael had to run. And all the paw prints are over here, which means this is likely an area of struggle. This is how every dog sledding journey ends, is with the dogs finding a dead animal. This is some sort of gigantic bird. I think it's a turkey. Okay, fellas. Fellas, man, we need to get out of here. Guys, Quincy, get your leg over. Quincy. Okay. Come on, Bolin, let's pull him. Pancho! Poncho, get, Poncho, keep it moving, man. God, here's Quincy. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Quince, walk forward. Okay, boys, over gee. Boys, over gee. Come on. You can see the line up here. The boys did really well. The entire time until we hit that dead animal. Over gee. All 
All right, I better shut the camera off and get the boys going. Okay, boys. Whoa, whoa, fellas. Really good job, dudes. Okay, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there was a gigantic dead bird. I think it was a turkey. And the boys, okay, boys let's go. poncho rolled in it. Good job, boys! Woohoo! You guys are doing great! Whoa! Woo! That's probably like the best run I've ever had. Really? Yeah. We went sliding again. And uh, as per usual, we were on the brink of disaster for the entire ride. Blin, buddy. Remember when we were at the house, you almost didn't want to come. Quincy, what happened, bud? Are you dead? <laughs> Quincy! Can you make sure these two guys don't, get, don't escape? The fellas, the good boys. We got Quincy, Mr. Drama Queen over here. Hey, Quince, what's up, dude? Oh, buddy. Really? Oh, Quincy, Give me a massage when we get home. outside right now we're at the farm but hit the trails. Michael where are you going? <laughs>